All right, let's talk about knit binding. So <clears throat> this is our binding. We got a good side and a bad side, but to be honest, they look very much alike. Um, so I'm going to go with this for the good side. We fold this together with the good sides towards the outside. So not good sides together, but bad sides together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sew this along the edge of our neck opening like this. We're going to sew it down like that here. And then when we fold that over, it's going to look like that, right? Which is going to give us this neat, nice finish. Now, to make sure that this lies flat and doesn't do that, we're going to stretch the knit binding as we are sewing it along the neck opening. So you sew this, like this stretched, but you don't stretch this. And because this will be a bit stretched, it will want to form a smaller circle and so it will have the tendency to flip towards the inside. We're going to help that tendency later by, once this is sewn, we're going to sew this down here too. This is not so hard to do. For best results, you would use a serger over an overlock, but as I already pointed out today, I'm making this t-shirt with nothing but a straight stitch sewing machine. So this is what we're going to do. Now, I cut out a strip that's a bit too long. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start sort of midway in the back and then a bit further and I'm going to leave let's say this so I start about two inches or five centimeters from the center of the back and I let my fabric run even a little bit over this is where I will start sewing and then I'll make my way around and when I get to the other side that's when we'll worry about joining these two pieces together. So let's now get started with this.